Hey everyone, Tim Schofield here. We're gonna take a look at the latest flagship from OnePlus, the 11. The OnePlus 11 5G, they've ditched any extra names, the Pro, the T, the Ultra, and this starts at 699. You get the latest Snapdragon 8 Gen 2 processor, triple camera setup, 120 hertz AMOLED display, and more. So we're gonna open up the box, see what comes inside, and then of course get some hands on with the OnePlus 11 5G. Let's get started. Here is our OnePlus 11 5G with Hasselblad for the camera partnership with their signature red box. Opening it up, never settle. We're gonna set that to the side for just a second and we have our phone, the OnePlus 11. This is the eternal green color. I'm gonna hide that, show you that in just a second. Let's see what comes in this box. Inside, quick start guide, safety guide. You get some stickers, not just a logo sticker, but a few others as well. Cool that they included an extra and a welcome note from OnePlus. On top of our SIM ejection tool, let's peel this open. Uh, this is from the founder of OnePlus. You can pause the video if you'd like to read the note. Inside, you also get an adapter, USB Type-C to USB Type-A to help you transferring your files. Continuing on, you've got your charging cable and a charging brick included. I love they include this fast charging brick. USB Type-A, this is, I believe, 80 watts of charging from OnePlus. So on top of the charging brick, you also get your signature red cable, USB Type-A to USB Type-C. And on to what you came to see, the OnePlus 11 5G. Already a look at that big camera module right there. We're gonna peel this paper off here. And there is the device. Let me grab this sticker. And there is that green color. Uh, really cool looking. It's a pretty unique style. Almost, at, it's very reflective, but almost kind of a mirror reflection uh, to it. So kind of a neat finish. Anyways, I'm gonna boot up our OnePlus 11, and while it boots up, let's take a close look at that hardware. Down at the bottom, you've got your SIM card slot, microphone, USB Type-C port for charging, one of the speakers, and along the right side is where the power button is, but also, check it out, there it is, the alert slider, three settings, ring, vibrate, silent. I'm really glad OnePlus decided to bring this back. It was a signature feature of their phones, and I really uh, like when phones actually have these physical sliders to their phones. Also make note of that camera bump, also the really just kind of unique way, depending on how the light hits it, the, the camera module just kind of uh, blends into the finish of the side of the phone. It gives it a kind of a more futuristic look to it. And up towards the top, we've got, uh, is that an IR blaster? It might be. Don't hold me to that. I'll make an annotation if that's an IR blaster. I really hope it is. Uh, it might just be a speaker. And then you do have a microphone. The bottom and top are very flat. I bet you could stand this up on its end. We'll try that in just a second. And then on the left side, you just have your volume rockers up and down. Confirmed. You can stand it up on its own. Don't try that at home. Anyways, here is a close look at the color and the finish of the OnePlus 11. And there is that OnePlus Hasselblad camera module. This is a triple camera system. You have a 50 megapixel main sensor, a 32 megapixel telephoto sensor. I'm excited to test out some pictures with that up to two times optical zoom, and then a 48 megapixel ultra wide angle lens calibrated by Hasselblad color calibration. Now that our phone has booted up, I'm gonna run through the startup process, talk about anything noteworthy. I wanna point out there is a pre-installed screen protector if you can happen to see it in the light. I also wanna make note that it's actually really comfortable to hold with the camera module round here because my finger just kinda of rests there and it makes it a little bit easier to hold the phone. Just a heads up, this is a dual SIM phone. If you do decide to use eSIM, it'll disable the SIM 2 slot. The OnePlus 11 has an in-display fingerprint scanner, which we are going to set up. You do have the option to use Face Unlock if that's a route you would like to go. Setting it on up and roll the edges of our finger. And there we go, fingerprint added. That was really quick and easy. We'll test that out in just a second. You have the option to join the Red Cable Club, which gives you an extended warranty and some other benefits. Take your choice between buttons and gestures. I prefer gestures myself. Uh, they do use Oxygen OS on top of Android. Let's get started. The OnePlus 11 has a 6.7 inch 1440p display. This is an LTPO 
three AMOLED display, which gets up to 120 hertz. I can already tell that that is enabled out of the box just by how smooth all these animations are looking. To double check, let's jump into settings, scroll down, display and brightness. Uh, you do have a light dark mode option, uh, eye comfort mode, keep going, keep going. Now screen resolution, you might wanna go into this if you do get a OnePlus 11 because it is set to 1080p out of the box, full HD, which isn't necessarily a bad thing. You can have it auto select or you can force that top 1440p resolution, which will be a sharper image of course, but will drain battery a little bit more. Also, screen refresh rate is set to high, maximum refresh rate of 120 hertz, or you can set the standard at 60 hertz to save battery life once again. Swiping down on this phone, you have the choice between shelf or the notification area. I'm going to choose shelf right there, and you'll see you have a group of different options for just widget style with weather, clock, music, and then swiping from the top gets you to that notification area. You can tell it is themed a little bit differently with that Oxygen OS. Let's test out that fingerprint scanner very quickly, just setting our thumb down. I do like the placement of this fingerprint scanner. It's not too low. I've noticed some phones lately, uh, the fingerprint scanner has gotten a little bit low. Uh, with the display off, uh, let's try it. There we go. So it does seem to work with the display on or off. You just gotta put your thumb in the right spot. It takes a little bit of time. It also has always on display and lets you know where to set your thumb. Checking out the camera application, let's just snap a couple quick pictures, just test the shutter speed, seems to be very quick, snappy, 0.6 times with that ultra wide, but also acts as a macro mode. So if we wanted to, you know, just grab something to get real close to the lens, you gotta find the right lens on the back, it'll take some time to do, but you'll notice how close I can actually get to that lens. And then 2x zoom is optical zoom. So this picture is optically zoomed in, we can check it out, some nice detail to it. So I am excited to test out this, uh, this camera system. I will be posting some pictures on my Instagram, so go follow me over there if you wanna check some of those out. It does have a night mode video portrait, and here are all of the various options that this phone offers, including pro mode. Again, nice to see, white, change the white balance if you want a little warmer, a little cooler, shutter speed ISO, all that good stuff. Just want to have a quick look at settings to test anything out. Oh, haptics, experience true to life haptics. Uh, really neat because you can change the intensity, see how it feels. If you want a little more gentle, a little more crisp, that's kind of snappy. Gentle is kind of a slower haptic. I, I love this actually, that you can really change it and you can have uh, you know fingerprint animation sound, touch sounds, and the haptics, you can change the in intensity if you'd like. Scrolling down, also wallpapers and style to really customize the look, special features, including a split screen where you can swipe up with three fingers. Settings doesn't support it, but that's an option. Flexible windows, quick return, quick launch, smart sidebar. There's a ton of additional features on top of Android that this phone brings. And then of course, additional settings, gestures, motions, one-handed mode. They have screen off gestures, double tap to wake, draw an O for camera, V for flashlight. That's one of my favorite ones. Uh, if you just turn the, whoops, didn't mean to take a screenshot, press the volume button, uh, press a V, You'll notice that turns on and then a V again will actually turn it off. But anyways, that is it from me when it comes to the OnePlus 11 5G. Drop a comment, let me know what you think. A lot more content coming soon on this phone, so be sure to click that subscribe button. Uh, be sure to give this video a thumbs up as well. And as always, thanks for watching.